Laura, how dare you have the audacity to go against my orders? Your mother specifically asked you to practice your new cheerleading routine, and you had the nerve to outright reject me? Unbelievable. Mom, I already told you I don't want to do it. It's so embarrassing to perform that in front of everyone at the restaurant, you know? What's the big deal about it being embarrassing? You're my pride and joy. You have a natural talent for cheerleading. All I asked was for you to show off your skills. Can't you see that every time you perform, everyone looks at you with admiration in their eyes? But I don't know, Mom. I really don't think so. I just feel like when I perform, people look at me like I'm some kind of alien or something. Oh, come on, Laura. It's all just in your cute little head. You're my daughter for crying out loud. Start having some confidence in yourself. Don't you have any idea how much time and effort I've invested into making you look presentable every time you step out that door? You may not appreciate it now, but I'm laying the groundwork for you to become a superstar one day. Well, I should know that, shouldn't I? After all, you've been reminding me of that practically my entire 12 years of existence. And yet you still haven't grasped the simplest of concepts. You never cooperate when I try and help you look halfway decent. Instead, you always wear that pathetic, miserable expression like you're always being tortured. Can't you see that I'm just being a fantastic mother looking out for your future? Honestly, I'm not sure if I truly want to be a superstar like you keep insisting. I don't even want to be a cheerleader in the first place. The same goes for singing, acting, and modeling. It's all because you made me sign up for these things, not because I actually enjoy them. Every time we go out, it takes forever, like one to two hours just to get everything done. I just want to be a regular kid. I want to go out there, explore, and get dirty, like any other kid would. You're far from normal. You're not like other kids out there because you're my kid. And let me tell you, if you'd just be more obedient and do as I say, you'll have a dazzling future ahead of you. A future where your face will grace TV screens and magazines. Hell, if you even put your heart and soul into becoming a celebrity, your name might even end up on the Walk of Fame. Mom, can I, like, talk to you about something that's been on my mind? I've never really mentioned it before, but I actually have a dream of my own. Something that I really enjoy doing and it makes me really happy when I pursue it. Oh, for God's sake, Laura. Hopes and dreams are for those weak, pathetic kids who still wear diapers to school. I already know whatever you're about to say is going to be a ridiculously awful idea, but go ahead, let's hear it anyway. Really? You're actually going to listen to what I have to say? Wow, Mom, thank you. I'm so happy about that. Hey, don't make it sound like I'm some sort of wicked, abusive mother here. Say it. Tell me what your dream is. Let me know what it is you really want to do. You know how much I dislike secrets. You shouldn't have kept something like this hidden from me, daughter. Well, Mom, actually, I've been wanting to become a dancer. A dancer, huh? It's actually not a bad idea at all. I've looked into it before, and dancers can make a decent income. Although, I must admit, I still have a soft spot for you becoming a singer the most. You know, these days, singers can become overnight sensations with just a few hits. But I'm curious, what kind of dancer are you thinking of becoming? Well, Mom, I've made up my mind. I want to become a hip-hop dancer. Isn't that cool? I've always been fascinated by their impressive moves and how they rock the stage. I've been practicing some of the moves on my own with online videos. But I know I'll need proper training to become a professional and make hip-hop dancing my career. What? So this is your dumbass dream? To become a hip-hop dancer? That's gotta be the most idiotic, unrealistic thing I've ever heard in my entire life. I'm warning you, get rid of that toxic idea. Erase it from your brain. If you go down that path, you're just throwing your life out the window, you hear me? So what's next? You're gonna tell me you wanna become a gangster or a, some street thug? Mom, what are you even talking about? Being a hip-hop dancer has nothing to do with being a gangster. They're completely different things. You're just 12 years old, Laura. You have no clue how the real world works. I've seen those so-called hip-hop dancers, and let me tell you, they're nothing but a bunch of thuggish losers. I wouldn't be surprised if they're all rotten drug heads living a self-indulgent and destructive lifestyle. And if you dare step foot in that world, mark my words, sooner or later, you'll become just like them. Think about it carefully. Do you seriously want to throw your life away and become one of those low lives? Well, I, I don't think it's that bad, honestly. Of course, because what would an innocent 12-year-old girl like you really know about the real world? Just do as mommy tells you, no questions asked, and you might turn out all right. That means... You're not okay with me becoming a hip-hop dancer? Of course not. Are you out of your mind? Have you completely lost your damn marbles? After everything I just said, you still have the audacity to bring up that nonsense? You want me to kick your sorry ass out of the house? 
Let you fend for yourself in the cold, cruel world out there? I... I'm... I'm sorry, Mom. I didn't mean to make you mad. I just... <sighs> Fine. I'll let you off the hook this time. Just remember, the first time and the last time you'll ever bring up this stupid dream, you got it? Oh, and one more thing. You're still grounded for daring to defy me today. I hope you know what that means, right? Yeah, Mom. It means I'll be stuck in my room, doing extra hours of homework and practicing cheerleading. That's my good girl. Now go on, go to bed. It's already 8 in the evening and you need your beauty sleep. You're such a slob, Laura. Just look at the disgusting mess you left on the kitchen counter. What do you have to say for yourself, huh? Hey, Mom, you're home early today? I'm sorry, I just finished baking and realized I left the cookie box upstairs, so I went to grab it. Don't worry, I'll be downstairs right away to clean up the kitchen, okay? How many times do I need to repeat myself, Laura? You know how obsessed I am with cleanliness? I expect everything in my house to be in perfect order. Always looking clean and tidy. I didn't raise you to be a filthy pig, Laura. I raised you to be a decent human being. I know, Mom. I remember very well because last time you sent me a novel-length email just to lecture me about leaving a dish in the sink and forgetting to wash it. Excuse me, what's with the attitude? Don't you remember what happened? You ate, then you went to your room and left that disgusting dish rotting in the sink for three hours because you overslept. Do you think it's wrong for me to complain about that? If I didn't remind you, what do you think the house would turn into? A freaking dumpster fire, that's what. And if you keep up with your reckless lifestyle, sooner or later, you'll end up being nothing but a homeless mutt. I know, Mom, and I'm really sorry. I've said this to you so many times before. I was just too exhausted that day because I had trained really hard for cheerleading. I know it was wrong to leave the dish unwashed for so long. But hey, I want to make it up to you for our last big argument. That's why I baked a batch of chocolate cookies. I remember they're your favorite, right? I'm sorry I didn't clean the kitchen counter right away, but I swear I just went upstairs a few minutes ago to get the special box I made for you. I did all of this to make my apology more sincere. Oh, you mean these cookies? Well, guess what? I threw them all in the trash. Every single one of them. Do you honestly expect me to eat those cookies in the middle of this disgusting pigsty you call a house? Unlike you, I'm not a filthy pig who eats and lives amidst trash. Why on earth did you even bother making cookies when you clearly can't find the time to clean up your own mess? Well, I'm sorry. Okay? I'm sorry that I can't seem to do anything right in your eyes. I'm sorry that my attempt to make cookies for you with good intentions turned into a complete disaster. Oh, it's because you never bothered to listen to a single word I said, right? I've asked you nicely, begged, yelled. I've even cried about the way you treat our home. And me with such disrespect. You know what? I think I've been spoiling you way too much. It's about time I put restrictions on you once again. But mom, it's just not fair. I literally only left the kitchen counter uncleaned for maybe five minutes tops because I was searching for the cookie box that I specially made for you in my room. I've had it up to here with your constant lies and deceit. Why are you always so full of excuses, huh? Well, guess what? You won't be having any TV, you won't be allowed to go outside, and you'll be handing your phone over to me. I'll be discontinuing the line tomorrow during my lunch hour. That should give you plenty of time to say your tearful goodbyes to your friends. But mom, I need my phone for other things too. It's not just for talking with my friends. Well, I couldn't care less. You're 15, you're an adult now, so start acting like one and learn to be more responsible. Dad, is it okay if I use your phone like this? I mean, are you sure it won't cause you any inconvenience? No, of course not, honey. You know I have several phones that I don't have any use for, so I won't have any problem if you use one of them. Thanks, Dad. I honestly don't know what I would do without you. You've always been my rock since day one. Hey, no worries, sweetheart. It's all good. I know it's been tough for you to live with your mom. I wish there was more I could do to help out. It's okay, Dad. I guess I'll just have to wait a few more years until I can get a job and move out to live on my own. Okay, Laura. Stay safe and try your best not to mess things up, alright? I hate to say this, but it's your mom's house, so it's important that you live by her rules. Yeah, sadly. Bye, Dad! Thanks for the phone! Mom, can you please explain to me what's going on? Why is my room in such a mess like this? And why are all my clothes and belongings thrown out of place? Oh! Look at you, still having the audacity to ask me that question, you filthy whore. Do you have absolutely no shame whatsoever? Why don't you just come out and admit it? 
You've been having an affair with your own father. No wonder you two are so damn close. This is so sick, the reason behind it, huh? What? What on earth are you talking about, Mom? I honestly have no idea what you're saying. Look, I can handle the many awful things you've said about me, but I will not sit here and listen to you spew lies about me and Dad. What you said is the most disgusting thing I've ever heard in my entire life. Don't even think about trying to deny it. I have undeniable proof. And it's right there in your phone. What? Did you go through my phone? You promised me that you wouldn't invade my privacy and read through my personal messages or anything like that. Well, sometimes you gotta stoop to low levels to uncover the truth, don't you? Let's have a look at those dirty messages that your dear old dad sent you, shall we? Can't wait to meet you tonight, honey. We had great fun yesterday. Can't wait to hold and kiss you. You're the greatest love of my life. Honestly, you make me sick to my stomach. Now I can't unsee this disgusting mess. What? No! I swear, it's not what you think it is. Look, I can explain everything, okay? There are no explanations, only pathetic excuses, and I'm sick and tired of them. I know you just desperately are trying to cover up this repulsive affair you're having with your own dad, right? Well, let me tell you, it's not gonna work, okay? I've already taken this to court, and I've provided them with the text messages I found on your phone, serving as damning evidence against you. You... you did what? Why did you jump straight to conclusions instead of talking to me first? I could have explained everything right away. Do you even realize how serious your actions are? I don't care. I was in shock. I can't believe that my husband would stoop so low as to betray me for my own daughter. It's completely insane and illegal. Both of you deserve to be thrown in jail, left to rot for the rest of your miserable lives. Oh, come on, Mom. He's not your husband anymore. You and him already got divorced, okay? Oh, I see now. So just because your dad and I got divorced, you think it's perfectly okay to engage in a relationship with him? Wow. You're one twisted, rotten, black-hearted snake. Well, let me tell you, I'll make damn sure that both of you burn in hell for what you did to me. Oh, and by the way, consider yourself officially kicked out of my house. So get the hell out of here as soon as humanly possible, you wicked witch. I can't believe it. The court actually had the audacity to find both you and your dad innocent? What a pathetic joke. What is this world coming to? Now they even allow a child to have a filthy relationship with her own dad. Disgusting. Mom, I've told you this so many times before. It's all just a huge mistake. Let me explain. You confiscated my phone, remember? That's why I had to borrow dad's phone to keep in touch with my boyfriend. So when you finally returned my phone, I had to forward all the messages between me and my boyfriend to my phone because I didn't want to lose them. That's why it seemed like Dad sent those messages, but in reality, I was just sending them to myself to keep a record. Wait, what? So, you're telling me- Yes! There's absolutely nothing fishy going on between me and my dad. Do you finally get it? He's my dad for God's sake. I love and respect him more than anything. Are you- Are you absolutely sure that you're telling the truth? I'm absolutely sure about it. Look, I can just call my boyfriend here so you and him can have a talk together. All right? Hmm. If that's the case, then. Fine, you can come back home. Let's just consider it a big misunderstanding, all right? Oh, I don't think I'll ever let it slide that you have a boyfriend. How come you never told me about this? It's a big deal. I'm your mother. I should have been informed about these things. But we'll discuss that later. For now, just be a good girl and go home, okay? Are you seriously being for real right now? After all the awful things you've done, you're just gonna act like it's no big deal. No apology, no remorse, nothing. What do you mean? I said you can come back home. What more do you want? You want me to get down on my knees and beg you for forgiveness and your dad's forgiveness or something? Yeah, you better do that. Do you even realize the kind of consequences that dad and I have to face now because of your terrible actions? I was asked questions that I should have never been asked. Do you even understand how traumatizing it was for me to go through all of that? And dad, he's now being accused of being a pedophile even though there's absolutely no basis for it. Can you even imagine how hurtful and embarrassing it is for him when he goes to work and hears people whispering nasty things behind his back? Well, that man deserves whatever happens to him. He hasn't done anything good in his whole life. He used to live like a slob when we were married and I always had to clean up after him. Now I know where you inherited those lazy genes from, your deadbeat father. Anyway, why are we even fighting? Let's just forgive and forget. You're my daughter and you're still under my care, so just come home already. I'll make your favorite dish. Wow, you really are delusional, Katie. Excuse me, what? It's been over a month since you kicked me out of the house, and I've already settled into Dad's place. I'm 15 now, old enough to decide who I want to live with. I'm done being manipulated by you. 
All this time, you've been using me as a puppet to fulfill your own crazy dreams. Well, not anymore. From now on, I'll make my own decisions about my life. If I want to become a hip hop dancer, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. You have no right to control me anymore. What? Do you honestly think you could live without me? <laughs> you won't last a single day without my superior presence. You don't even know how to clean dishes and fold laundry properly, you incompetent fool. Laura, get your sorry ass back in here right now, Laura. Oh my god, Laura. You've changed so much since the last time I saw you. You look absolutely stunning. And so feminine, I almost didn't recognize you. I guess you didn't end up going down that path of becoming a hip-hop dancer or anything like that, huh? Oh, thank goodness. I'm so incredibly proud of you, my darling. Oh, Katie, it's you again, huh? I tried my best to avoid you completely, but I guess it's impossible. I mean, it's a family gathering after all. Oh, don't act all distant with your mother like that. You know, I've missed you all these years. Even though you were your dad's trophy wife girlfriend, I saw past that and loved you for who you are. Look, I've completely forgiven you. In my eyes, you're still my beloved daughter. Are you out of your mind? I was never dad's trophy girlfriend. How many times do I have to explain to you that we never had any kind of inappropriate relationship? Who? All right, all right, I was just kidding. No need to get all worked up like that. Anyway, why didn't you respond to my text or emails? I told you I have something super exciting to share with you. <sighs> and what exactly do you want to talk about? Just spit it out already. Although I already know that, nothing you say will ever be good. Don't get all defensive with your own mother like that, it's true. I might be strict sometimes, but all I ever wanted was to give you the best things in the world that I could. Anyway, listen. I've been wondering, are you still single? Why are you suddenly asking me that? It's none of your business, really. Well, you see, there's this incredibly rich guy that I'm sure you'll totally be into as soon as you see him. And what are you getting at? Oh, stop with the whole hard-to-get act already. You know very well that without me, you wouldn't even know how to flirt with a guy. I bet you've been hopelessly single for like a decade, am I right? But hey, don't worry. I've got a solution for you. His name is Pete, and he's like 70 or something. I can't remember exactly. I know, I know. You might think he's a bit too old for you, but hear me out. If you marry him, you'll be able to inherit his massive fortune once he kicks the bucket. Sounds good, right? What? I can't believe you're actually suggesting something like that. If he's such a great catch, why don't you go ahead and marry him yourself? I have absolutely zero interest in a guy who's my dad's age and whom I haven't even met. Well, here's the thing. I actually tried to make a move on him and asked if he wanted to marry me. But he straight up told me I was too old for him. Can you believe the nerve? I mean, if I'm old, he must be ancient. Anyway, let's get to the point. Since I can't marry that smelly old man or get my hands on his money, how about you do it for me? I think it'll be a piece of cake for someone like you, right? Considering how easily you fell in love with dad. Can you please just drop it already? <sighs> it's like no matter how many times I explain, you refuse to see the truth. Let me make my feelings about your proposal crystal clear. I find it absolutely repulsive. Seriously, it makes me want to puke. Wow, I guess you must be really desperate, huh? So desperate that you're willing to sell yourself to some old guy? It's all your fault, can't you see? Ever since you left, I've felt so lonely. That's why I went on crazy spending sprees and bought all kinds of stuff I didn't really need. Before I knew it, I blew through all my savings. And that's not all. I even got fired because I couldn't focus on my work and messed up big time, resulting in having to pay a hefty sum to cover up the losses I caused. I swear I don't want to date older guys, not at all. It's just that I'm so desperate. I don't know where I'll find the money to pay them back. Huh. That sounds like a real mess. But hey... I want to make it clear that I have absolutely no intention of marrying some old guy. Fine, I respect your decision. But hey, if you're willing to help me out with my financial problems, that would be great. Any amount would do, even just a couple thousand dollars. Um, let me think. How about no? Don't you remember what you did to me? You controlled every aspect of my life, kicked me out of the house at 15, and accused me of something awful. So tell me, why on earth should I help you now? Oh, and by the way, I'm actually a famous hip-hop dancer now. My boyfriend and I are engaged, and we're planning to have our wedding next month. So, does that give you enough information? Wait, what? So you are a hip-hop dancer? But when I saw you at the family gathering, you didn't look like one. Do you seriously think that hip-hop dancers look and dress like thugs? Well, newsflash Katie, it's not like that at all. Anyway, I've gotta go. 
I can't waste any more time talking nonsense with you. So enjoy dealing with all those financial problems on your own. After that, my mom reached out to my dad for help, but all she got was a lengthy lecture that lasted for two hours. It was a chance for my dad to finally express all the burdens he had carried for years and get them off his chest. Throughout the whole conversation, my mom sat there and cried uncontrollably. She couldn't even defend herself because deep down, she knew she was in the wrong. She left my dad's house in silence and stopped contacting us after that. Someone I knew mentioned seeing her profile on Tinder as if she was looking for someone to rely on. However, it seemed like my dad's lecture had made her feel so embarrassed that she even deleted her Tinder account. A few months later, I coincidentally stumbled upon Katie working as a janitor in a small coffee shop. I think she saw me too, but it seemed like she was trying to avoid making any eye contact with me. Well, at least it's good to see that she had come to terms with her situation and started working again to support herself. 